Okay, let's talk a little bit about using an auto scan. Auto scan is where we're going to take the hand switch and depress the button as we're bringing the microscribe around a particular design and we want to pick up multiple points along the way. The auto scan icon is located on the toolbar from left to right, three on the top row. Here we're going to select either a distance or a time element to create the increments in which the data is going to be collected. Let's go ahead and use an increment of every half of an inch for this example. So we'll go ahead and say OK. And uh, just to keep things simple, let's continue to use our Excel spreadsheet to collect our data in. And uh, I've got a little grafting section set up so we can see the data collect. <clears throat> so we'll bring our microscribe into place. And again, we're going to utilize the hand switch. Go ahead and depress the hand switch. Now I'm going to depress it and hold it. So it's going to be in an auto trace mode. So every half of an inch, it's going to collect a data point and record that data point directly inside of the Excel spreadsheet. As you can see as I come around the part, I'll get to the end and I'll let go. So now we can uh, pull up a little bit and see these are all the individual data points that were collected and we've got a little graph giving us a representation of the part uh, and what it actually looks like. So just to do that once again, let's go ahead and clear the content, the Excel spreadsheet, and let's go in and make a modification to our, um, let's do it again, let's do it at a distance of time this time, and we'll use one milliseconds as our time interval. So we'll say OK, and we'll go ahead and collect in the cell of the Excel spreadsheet, and we'll just pick up that information again. So I'm going to hold the button down, and this time it's picking up in milliseconds. So you can see it's a, it's a much faster collection of points. It's going to be much denser. And we'll go ahead and finish that point collection. And let's scroll back up to the top of our page so we can see the graphical representation of what we did. Now what happened here in the Excel spreadsheet is I only had X amount of columns selected. So let's go ahead and get the whole column base. And then we'll go up and look at that product. And there's a much denser collection of points for the, uh, the shape. So anyways, that gives you an idea of how to use uh, time-based or distance-based increments for doing an auto scan.